It comes to this time of the year in college basketball. Teams are just ready to dance. You get it, right? For the runners, it will be their last dance in Vegas as this is the final time to compete for a WAC tournament championship before making that move to the Big West. For the men, they may have already been dealt some pretty nice cards before they even got to Vegas. Falling in conference standings may have had its perks. A 6-10 WAC record has led the runners to be seated 7th in the 8-seeded tournament. Good news for them. They opened the tourney against a team they just beat and then could face a team they they both have a shot at taking out in the next round. Not seeing that top dog, New Mexico State, until the championship if it shakes out that way. So although in Vegas and the luck of the draw, Coach Rod Barnes isn't leaning on any of that luck heading into tourney play. I don't feel like I just, I feel good because again, I thought two and a half weeks ago I was struggling with our team. I thought we wasn't playing well. I thought we was not doing some things that we needed to do. We still could be so much better, but, you know, we shored up our defense. We cut down on, you know, the free throws difference, and, you know, we played with a little bit more sense of urgency over the last two weeks. And Cliche for a reason. Got to play right at the right time. Well, today, two more runners received all-conference honors. Junior guard Taze Moore, who's been great as of late, was named to the all-WAC defensive team, ranks fifth in conference with 27 blocks, while also tallying 36 steals. Fellow junior guard Cam Allen was named to the all-WAC newcomers team, joining Jaden Eggleston from the women's team. The transfer has posted a 39.6 three-point field goal percentage. Well, the bags, they were packed and the bus has left as the women's team headed to Vegas early this morning. They won't play until tomorrow night at 830, but they'll get some time to adjust to the new atmosphere and get a few practices in before opening up tourney play. It's an over four hour trip to the Orleans Hotel and Arena where they'll be playing. So hopefully they had some good movies to catch up on on that bus ride. The men will leave tomorrow at noon.